I think one thing that happens in true crime, one of the reasons people like true crime, first of all, people like seeing the system work correctly, particularly at a time in our lives when nothing seems to be working correctly. But right. I think it's also, you know, most people go through their lives and they are never victims of violent crime, which is a very good thing. But everybody has been in a relationship that did not go the way they wanted it to. Uh, and I think that, that, you know, part of what attracts people to Dateline is, as Dennis uh, Murphy, one of our correspondents, famously said, it's not the murder, it's the marriage. I mean, these are not really just random murders that we cover. These are relationships that went off the rails at some point, And then someone thought to themselves, oh, you know, I know my way out of this. I'm going to kill you. And then I'll <laughs> get all the money. And I wanted to pay you alimony. And I wanted to look at you with our kids. And people make these insane calculations in which they sort of think of themselves, oh, yeah, murder is the way out of my problem. And these are usually not, you know, we're usually not doing serial killers. These are people who've never done it before and probably think of themselves, and I'm never, ever going to do anything like this again. I just need this one murder to get me around this one corner in my life. And then everything's going to be okay. And that sort of calculation about relationships, what went wrong, how people can do this to somebody that maybe they, that they once loved and maybe might be the mother or father of their kids. That's sort of what keeps people watching daylight. Yeah, so I think it starts with that concept of like, you know, 